What's up guys, this is part 16 of building the Jedi Temple out of Lego. I get lots and lots of progress done today, so I definitely would recommend staying to the very end, because I also have something really, really cool that I want to show you at the end of this video, so yeah, make sure you stay to the end. And I'm so excited about how this mock is turning out. It's almost done now, I think only maybe about one or two more like videos, and this mock will be completely done, so like I said... It's a very cool update this week, so make sure you enjoy the video. All right, so I got a BrickLink order in, and pretty much, it's a pretty small one, but I just got some of these, which are for these, uh, like, uprights here. But also, the, mainly what I got in this order was just a bunch of these. Um, they are 6 by 12 um, templates, and they go on top of here and on top of here once that's all done. But the last little thing I got in this order is just a... Um, G Notion head and a um, Rodian head just for some more Jedi minifigures but I'm just going to do a quick time lapse of me plating off that now. So just like I said in the intro to this video this mock is getting very close to completion so if you guys are enjoying this mock make sure you like and subscribe to see the next mocks I'm working on because I have three planned. Okay so I got all of those uh, plates on and just for a bit of support so this is what they were like really shit um, but I've pretty much just done two layers of plates along here and then just this support in the middle um, just to add a bit more stability but I think that this looks pretty cool. I also added the angles here and here and I'll be doing the exact same thing over this side just to make that more stable but I think that looks pretty cool. Little like view windows to see into these rooms but yeah I'll um, do this one now. Okay so I got the support done in this room and those other little um slopes and stuff but i did a bit of work on this room here so i decided just to make this room like a jedi training area so pretty much two jedi would come into this room and they just fight each other one standing this side one standing that side but pretty simple room all i did was just add some details to each side wall and just added added this little lightsaber rack there so i know it's pretty basic but i think it's pretty cool i, I like how it turned out um and this room here I don't know, leave your comments what you guys think it should be, but I'm thinking maybe a, um, like, one of those battle planning rooms with, like, a big hollow table or something. But pretty much up here, I put this balustrade over there. I'll show you from this side. But, yeah, put it on one side. I also finished off the handrail on each side. I asked you guys in the last video if I should just have it all solid or if I should have... Um, or well, if you saw the last video, you know what I mean, but you guys said it should all be solid, so each side is solid tan. But yeah, that balustrade's up, and that whole top platform will be tiled off in dark red once I get my Lego order in, which should be soon. So once that's in, I will do a time lapse of that. So I got a package today. This is a Lego pick a brick order that I ordered over a month ago, so I can't wait to finally use these pieces in the mock. First up is a big bag of these 2x2 dark red tiles. Next up is a big bag of 2x2 light bluish grey tiles. That will just be used to pretty much tile off hopefully the rest of the mock. I still might need just a few more, but I also got a lot of 1x4 and 1x2 tan bricks. And last up for this order is these big, um, I think they're 16x16 16 16 bricks. They're going to be used for the balcony as well as just more dark red and light bluish grey tiles and plates. So now I'll use those 2x2 um, two two dark red tiles to tile off this area here. I just wanted to apologise that I haven't really been uploading many videos on this mock. The reason why is because shipping to Australia, especially from the Lego Pick a Brick, just takes ages for some reason. Like this order here that I'm using took over a month to come. I wish that I could do more frequent videos on this mock, but unfortunately it just takes too long for the parts to come. So all that dark red tiling's done and I think it looks pretty cool. But now that that's done, I just want to work on this little staircase here. It will all be um, dark red and go up and just blend into that. So I'll get that done now. So I got this little staircase done and I think it looks really cool. I love the way that it turned out. Just looks so neat in there. Tile it all off dark red. But let me know what you guys think about this. But now that that staircase is done, that entire side is done. So now I just need to finish this side too. Okay, so this side is almost done now but I ran out of pieces so I couldn't 
finish off all these like balustrades on this side. But other than that, that side's all done. Now the reason why there's still an exposed row of studs here is because on this side, I'm going to be building a big wall there. I'm gonna have like a doorway with a big um, Jedi logo up there. I think it's gonna look really cool. But I'm really loving how this looks now. I'll just show you guys some different shots of this. But now that that's all done, now both of those sides are done, I can finally tile off the rest of these. So I'm going to get into that now. And look at that. I think that looks awesome. Really, really happy how this all turned out. Got a lot of progress done in this episode, but I've got something really cool that I want to show you guys now. So... I'll just quickly show you over this and then I'll show you something that I think is awesome, but I'm really, really happy with all this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I think once all those columns are in on both sides, it's gonna look amazing. But pretty much next episode, I'm going to be working on this balcony area, getting that tiled off and working on the semicircle part of the balcony there. But all right, now I wanna show you something really, really cool. So here is 15 Jedi Temple guards. Um, obviously, LEGO have never actually released these before in sets, and I definitely was not going to be paying the prices that the custom minifigures cost. So these are actually fake, but they were only $1 each, and I don't even reckon that you can tell they're fake. They're such good quality fakes, and for a dollar each, it literally cost me $15 for all of these minifigures. And I think they're going to look awesome in the mock anyway. So let me know what you think about them. I think they're really cool. But that'll be it for this video. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see the next update where I'll work on this balcony area and also these big pillars here. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.